Tell them, guys, <clears throat> answering another question about completion in relationships and how to handle relationship with others or relating with others. So I want to share my cognition and the click I got about this whole thing. So without further ado, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Now, the question was basically, it was uh, in a previous video where I was talking about anger and jealousy and other, other emotions and how we cannot add anger into someone. Somebody has cherishes anger inside their inner space and in some situations they think it is justifiable for them to manifest that anger. So the question was, um, if somebody is manifesting anger towards you, what part is your responsibility? What part is their responsibility? How to complete, how to handle it? So I want to share the click I got about that. We are, it's basically revolving on the space of completion and taking responsibility. We are responsible, re, we are responsible for everything inside of us and outside of us. Now, somebody outside of us, co cognized outside of us, um, is coming towards us and manifesting anger, displaying signs that we consider are signs of anger. So, um, once we become aware of that, we decide how the thing is going to evolve. It's like a tennis game. You have the ball, you slap the ball to the other court, the person in the other court slaps the ball back, and the relationship, the relating with the other is basically like a tennis game where you just play back and forth and you relate. But the thing that we fail to realize is that we have the power to decide how we want the conversation or the relationship to go. At any point in time, we can change anything. We have that power if we take responsibility. I'll give you an example. Somebody comes towards you out of nowhere, throws out anger. So I'll say that it's like a red tennis ball. So he slaps a red tennis ball in your court and you do not have to slap the red tennis ball back. You can let the red tennis ball go and slap a blue tennis ball back. That is the understanding I got the click about, about taking responsibility. If in the relationship you have with somebody there is anger, <clears throat> that is because when that person is um, displaying what we consider as anger behavior towards us, we, we allow that behavior or that anger to be reflected in our inner space and sent back. Why? because we still also cherish anger inside of us. So then it becomes what I was referring to, an, a, a situation where we feel it is justifiable to express our anger. But that's not completing and that's not taking responsibility. Taking responsibility means realizing that you are cherishing anger, deciding to stop to cherish anger, drop whatever anger emotion you have inside your inner space and decide to relate from a totally different space. So if somebody comes angry at me, I do not have to respond to their anger. I can understand the space from which they're coming because when you contemplate, you have seeking and you listen to Swamiji and, and learn about Hinduism and live Hinduism, you gain the knowledge to understand how is anger generated in the first place and why it is generated in the first place. When that jnana, when this knowledge is um, grasped by the being, he becomes compassionate because he understands that the person in front of he or her is generating anger because they are stuck in a level of ignorance. They don't understand what they're doing and how they are harming themselves. But because you have grasped it for yourself, you know what is going on in the person and you will naturally want to help the person. So naturally you will decide not to slap the red tennis ball back. You will let the anger go. You will not take it personally because you know it's nothing personal. It's just the being trying to express anger. So you will not take it personally. You will let it go and you will send in the, the way you will respond to that relationship, that how you will relate to that person in that moment uh, will be with a different energy. It doesn't have to be with the energy of anger. Sometimes you might decide not to respond. Sometimes you decide to respond. Everything is possible. You just have to be conscious of what you're doing, why you're doing it. What is your conscious response? From what space are you responding? What is the purpose of your response? What are you trying to create 
while engaging in that relationship or relating with that person. So it was a very powerful click for me because it's very empowering in the way that it's you who decide how the game goes. No matter what ball, color of the ball that the person in front of you throws at you, you decide if you want to continue to play this with this tennis ball or if you want to use another tennis ball and change the way the relation or the, the relationship uh, happens or grows or evolves between you and the being in front of you. At any point in time, you have the power to change it. All that is required is completion, basic awareness, simple awareness, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so you just need to have completion and basic awareness. Basic awareness comes with completion. When you have basic awareness, you have completion. When you have completion, you have basic awareness. So it's very simple. It's not, nothing complicated. But there is this kind of uh, completion is important. Awareness or even unclutching, right? Unclutching is the first response. You have to unclutch. Actually, unclutching is perfect in that situation. If the person actually... Okay, unclutching and completion is, is the same thing. It's just a different way of reaching the same space. But the person throws anger, you unclutch. You let the anger go and you respond back from a new space. You dictate how the conversation goes. And at some point, maybe the person will, will again, you know, he throws a red ball, you throw back a blue ball, he throws again a red ball, you throw back a blue ball, he throws again a red ball, you throw back a blue ball, and then he starts to throw a different ball. Because the, the why, uh, why is somebody who is in completion will always be victorious is that when you are in completion, you are, uh, you have will persistence, you will not give up. Whereas when somebody is incomplete and cherishing low frequency emotions such as anger, they will be stuck in will arrogance. They will be able to play the game for so long. At some point they will get fed up, they will give up on themselves and they will change their game, they will change their strategy. But because you are in completion and you are in the space of conscious creation, you will not change your game until you manifest what you want because you know what you're doing from end to end because it is from the space of unclutching, from the space of completion, from the space of conscious creation. So yes, that's the click I got about this. So if you have questions, put them down below. I'll see if I have something to share about it and different, links that, uh, different clicks I might have had about that uh, in, in my life. And uh, yeah, subscribe, comment. I, again, um, I, I did some setting change on the YouTube channel. so. Uh, that might affect a few things. I mean, some of my, my comments uh, were kind of deleted, so that is there. And uh, I was told also that they're no longer getting the notification directly. They get it in the, in the, in the spam. Uh, some people were saying in the email they were getting it in the spam instead of getting it in the inbox. So maybe you can just, you know, uh, unsubscribe and subscribe back and click the bell icon back um, to kind of reset the whole thing properly. So with this, I'll see you guys in the next video. Nitaanda. Complete? Be unclutch. Be unclutch. Be unclutch. Uh -huh.